Hey there, but they managed to get their model to come back from the view of Life is Strange 2. Huh. Let's continue, so boys. Continue all. right away. Uh, I was right here. I was going away for some reason uh, on the last video at the end there. But uh, let's go back. Let's continue the story right here with Karen that just came back. And with the girl series and everything, we made uh, an encounter with uh, a previous character from a previous game, boys. Uh, from the very first one, which is David, the fa uh, the ex stepfather of uh, Chloe, the uh, late great uh, Chloe, which is dead in my universe, since at the end of uh, the last uh, game, I did, which I didn't do on YouTube, uh, I didn't play it on YouTube, I played it on my own. Uh, she ended up sacrificing her instead uh, for uh, saving the uh, city and everything, so she's dead. Uh, poems, interesting. So we got the grass through girl stories and everything. What else do I do? Just talk to her, I guess. This game has a lot of talking moments, boys. Unbelievable. I, admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. We've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Uh, it's another world, too remote for me. Everybody's cool. You know what? It's another world. This place is like another world. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. It's not perfect, but it works. You live as an out, uh, as outcasts, so peaceful here. You know what? I'm gonna say you live as outcasts. It's better to live in a city, work. my girl. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid. Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient, and it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here. How did you find this place? You know what? I couldn't live there. Uh, no, you know what? How did you find this place? So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is... Everything yeah, why, why okay. would she want to talk about? Yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Alright, fine. Take brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, at four. <laughs> He's coming by. There it is. Hola. There's the buddy. Compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? Yeah. Totally. Let's pack then. All right, then looks like we're uh, driving to the canyon, which we just slept there. Are we uh, have we got enough of this uh, place? I don't know if personally I could actually ever lived for a while in the desert. It seems like a rush place, a rude place. I don't know, boys. It's not my kind of style. I, I'm much more of a city guy or like an old city guy. And like, I like the old Europe cities and everything. Uh, but I don't like canyons and stuff. Deserts, not my style at all. I, no, I'm not a fan of it. Like, not the biggest fan of it. It has a style, but I don't know. Living there, not really, boys. Can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come 
on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> Alrighty then. Looks like we're doing a little Slow trip down. with the the we mother here. Up. More walk, less talk. Daniel Jeez. All right. Talking about nice. breaking the ambience, huh? Check this out. All right then. Not Just this following is her. Nature's heart. nature's heart, right? It's, it's not really so my pretty. type of place. And pretty. Oh no, we already and went so there. Pretty. I mean, we just slept there, Karen. The Haven't play. you noticed? Shh. Whatever. Let me just go back here. If you need to. Yeah. It's a little bit strange area, man. It's quiet. Sure. Definitely, that's the one thing that's good about it. This is that it's quiet and everything. So, uh -oh. there's much stuff I going on. A wolf. a wolf. Interesting. Yeah, that's right. You tell her. You must hike all the time. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually come at a good pace. Uh, she's a slow mo girl, huh? I don't know about how, uh, that one. I'm much more of a go fast and look fast type of guy. Yeah. I mean, I like to experience the the, uh, the areas, but I do it quick, boys. I do everything quick. That's how I am in life. All right, let's see. I love what else going on here. Away. <laughs> Hi, Ben. It's the best spot. <laughs> Sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. I uh, got to know you better. Uh, you know, you helped us out. You helped us a lot. Regret leaving us. No, you know what? I got to know you. I got to know you better, I guess. I don't know. None of these options really feel to me, but whatever. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much and I'm proud of who you are and where you're going. Uh, you could come with us. Think we'll make it? I'm not gonna ask her to come with us. Absolutely not. Uh, um, the character I'm trying to prog have a, as a progress, a characterization here is that he doesn't like his mother. He still have, uh, like he still don't, doesn't trust her. He, knew, he never will because she left her, uh, him. So I don't want him to start being all over the place in terms of a characterization you know a devil a development he needs to just not trust her and just want to do his own thing you know Karen be honest do you think we'll make it to Mexico <laughs> you made it this far going through hell I hope so Sean you both deserve it but I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. We got the our photos and everything now. Us down in the region. Shit. Jesus Christ. You have the we FBI on our ass now. Well, that's just great. Well, now we're definitely fucked. There's nothing we can do even if we go papers. to Mexico. No, we should have went to Canada, my guy. I told you. So, this is it. 
You want to hide somewhere? You hide in Canada, not in Mexico, for Christ's sake. Oh, it's always like that. They always go to the south instead of the north, boys. Don't know what they have against the north. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? Sure, it's cold. But at least over there, they want you. That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Very interesting right there, boys. Look at this. I gotta tell you right now, that was a beautiful uh, scene right there. Just the, the look of it, the uh, cinematic view of it. I just loved it, I loved it. And you know, I, I'm a big fan of uh, cinema cinematic views and everything, the, the way it looks. And um, it just looked beautiful right there. The way it, it's just were really made, well made. I'm just gonna say it, boys. Far, I really have been enjoying this game so much. Like this game is like uh, so much better. It's at least twice as good or three times as good as the the first one, which I really I enjoyed the first one. Are you guys but this this is just on another level. This is a really good game. This the, the, you can tell the developers uh, grew a little bit in terms of uh, like uh, storytelling and writing and stuff. Because this is really good. Oh, honey. It's much more, much less cringing, a lot more serious stuff, and uh, a lot more storytelling, you know. How far is the border? What will you do now? Um, how far is the border exactly? Maybe she can help us how out with that. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe uh, five or six hours drive. It won't be easy crossing that border. So, I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? Really? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. She's gonna so give herself up, me, so we can uh, move across. Okay. Interesting. No. We'll go to jail for helping us. <sighs> Not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. You don't have to. You know what? You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. 
that didn't raise us to d uh, this way. We'll do whatever it takes. Uh, you know what? That didn't raise us this way. Uh, I don't know. That didn't raise us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban had a lot more faith in the system than me. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. I don't know about that one, boys. Okay. This is sure, I don't trust her. Wait, but that doesn't mean I want her to be to uh, go in jail, right? right? She doesn't I'm deserve that. Go do one last checkup on the Damn, you that's go. harsh. That's really and hard, don't boys. Don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Um, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. What could he possibly have for me? That's crazy, boys. I don't know. Write to Karen. Fuck that. I'm not writing any letters. I'm just leaving her completely. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I don't I don't care about her. I just I don't want her to go to jail. But I'm not gonna start writing letters apologizing and stuff. Come on now. That's stupid. I'm knocking on the door. Let's go. Yo, David. You got something for me, buddy? Sean. Hey. Oh my goodness. Said you this to boy see is about yeah, to look uh, hook us up with some uh inside first. I got some stuff. There we go. Nice. Car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Alright. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh look at this, the letter. I feel you, Dave. Dear Joyce. Great to get your uh, postcard. You sure get around uh, now. Hope you're seeing the world like uh, like you wanted. I uh, want to see. Okay, no. I know our lives are so different now. I like to think, but I hope we can. Okay. Uh, everything is uh, so different now. I, I hope one day we, j we can just have a beer and shoot the shit like before. All right. Interesting. CDs. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Interesting. Let's look around, boys. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. Back when he uh with his old look, boys. All right. Uh, next, the sign. <laughs> Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. Yeah, well, he gets that from his uh, stepdaughter, which unfortunately died. So I guess it's for pair of respects and stuff. Car plates, uh, tin cans. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. Okay, what else can we look at that's really interesting? Broken TV, uh, police scanner, picture. Oh, there it is. Look at Chloe on the right, right there. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. Yo. Good lord. Look at Chloe in there. That's a nice little Easter egg right there. Uh, police uh, scanner. This police scanner. He gets all sorts of places, boys. Uh, use it. Okay. How does this thing work? Wait. Oh, there it is. I think we found it. Daily? Oh, shit. Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Nice. We're going to be able to spy on the cops, boys. That's awesome. We just, we're just going to steal that shit. All right, then. Leave. We got what we needed. We got the radio. Nice, boys. Got a map, too. Or still, still all sorts of ships, you guys. How immoral are we, really? And your mom's car is all ready to roll. 
Did you get the police scanner? Yep. Yeah, I got it. And Thanks. You. Thanks. Scanner. I guess I didn't steal it. I, I just that? took it. Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. All right, I got you. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You, you only get one chance here. I got I'm you. Trying to be a I'm dick. not going to fuck it up. Just honest. I know, Dave. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. You know, David, Don't you were a real ass right a real asshole last time in the that previous games, but hard. I like you and in this yes, one. I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. I'm not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Stepdaughter? Why come here? You know what? Let's not talk about Chloe. She was a punk after all. Uh, it's not really your fault, David, that she wouldn't listen to you. I mean, you did what you had to do. But what? why would you come here, though? You, you still had Joyce, right? Why did you come here? Um, you said you were from Oregon, right? Yeah, that's where I used to live. Before my stepdaughter was shot. It destroyed me. More than I was willing to acknowledge at the time. I stayed wasted for a year. Then went to AA. Got cleaned up and met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. Anyway, he invited me to stay here. Offered me a fresh start when I needed it the most. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you. Okay? Yeah. Of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever is that how you see yourself in 10 years if you step up and face the law you can be free sooner than later want a new life turn myself in is this too risky for me you've come too far now we just want a new life that's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all of this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> Tell That's me about it, brother. He's definitely uh, growing a lot too, uh, way too fast, but so that shit happens, man. You're on the right path. Oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. You're talking to Joyce, huh? So I, I, he still contacts her from time to time. Interesting. 
All right, look, David's a good, it's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, he means well, but I don't know, man. I don't feel like turning myself in would be the right choice here. I feel like we'd be we're screwed. There's no way we are coming back from anything. Uh, we didn't do all of this just to surrender ourselves, right? That's just not gonna happen. It's, it's way too late now. All right, leave away. Let's go, boys. Let's leave this place. Daniel, do you copy? Hopefully, everything's gonna be fine now. It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to a way? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom. We won't see her for a while. I'm. <laughs> Maybe I'm ever you. again. I'll miss you too. Probably the last time we see her, guys. It was amazing to spend of course, time with you. Of course. Once she, uh, I'm, I'm talking so about once she. Uh, you both. And what you're gonna do with your life? Gets caught by the and cops. If you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Looks like it is. Well, options right here. Don't hug Karen. Hug Karen. Be a man. Thank you for helping us, Karen. Seriously. Thanks for the help. I wish I could have done more. We're not a child anymore. We don't hug. Hugging's for Let's children's boys. Alright, let's leave this place. Leave and finally go to Mexico. Hopefully everything's gonna be fine. I I'm just I'm so scared right Take now, care, boys. boys. I'm scared that we're gonna get caught and stuff. I'm scared that it's not Stay gonna safe. go our plan. Ne it never did, so it's just you know. This hurts. Hopefully everything's gonna be fine. Bye everybody. guys in the, in the road right here I don't know what's gonna happen all I can hope for is that everything's gonna be fine we should uh, along the road get a little, dis little distraction from uh, our mother if everything works out well we got the, uh, the radio hey. so to just to know where the cops Something are I am We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. Are well, we strangers? always get to know. How long can we live there? Uh, live like kings, no more running, new home. You know what? Let's live like kings. Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need. We're much. gonna be kings yeah, right. there. We're gonna be kingpins, my so guy. With? with your powers, we're, we're gonna be able fun. to do whatever we want. No worries. Ah, no worries. You don't need to go back to school, my guy. You no don't worries. need it anymore. You've got powers. You've got. You're gonna get all the, the money power, in the world. Right? We already we'll have a thousand dollars. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you. Everybody likes you, buddy. You know what? I'll teach you. I'll teach you, man. You think so? Of course, I'll teach you. Like I did it for everything. Else. Of course. Everywhere we go. 
And we'll get to hang out too. Um. Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Oh, Daniel. It's more than okay, my guy. I get scared too, you know. But we'll be. We'll be fine. David, uh, Daniel is, you know, he's just scared. It's normal. He's scared. Everybody's scared. But uh, at some point, you got to move on, right? You got to, you got to do a big, a big thing. You got to really make, make a big decision that's going to influence your life. And that's the one right there. We got to do it. As long as the, the kid's happy, right? That's the main thing about being a big brother. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's... You you get to show things to your sister. Your, uh, your sister, your brother. Uh, I know for all of you, uh, like me, if you're a big brother or a big sister, you get to show, you get to be the big one. You get to be the one that um, has the learning experience and you get to show people uh, what you've learned and you get to be the mature uh, the mature one and that i think is for me uh, the thing that you gotta remember the most is with all that maturity that comes into place and all that uh, pressure from being uh, the adult in the family and everything you gotta make sure that you make the good uh, the good you make a good example or really there's the border, boys. How we're gonna get out of there? How we're gonna get Looks in? So That's one a he one hell of a wall, too. Holy shit! Is that the uh, is that the infamous wall that uh, he was Dude, talking about? It's just Did it get built? Fence. Except it won't keep us in. You best watch out. This might be like the Berlin Wall right there. If it is, you're fucked. All right, let's go, boy, buddy. Hey, let's go, Daniel. Sean. What? Why would they build this? Well, to keep the image, uh, to keep people like us from hand. doing this. Is there a wall like this up north? Pre uh, pretty sure. Not really. So. Why did? They Actually, build no, there was here? not, right? Oh, he's talking about up north know. in Canada. Or, of course not. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trashed, or what? I'm sure it is. What has to destroy? That's a good Are we really going to destroy the wall? I know. Oh my It'll goodness! All right, Daniel, let's do this shit. Let's show them what we do here. Ain't no wall's going to put is going to stop us. So here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally, let's get out of here. Let's do that. No, that's a lot, yeah. man. The wall. Take it easy. You know what? It's a border. Think you would it. think that behind those walls there would be, or in there's it would be a gate or something. You would think there would be soldiers everywhere, literally agents everywhere. There's the fact that there's no agents right now is kind of uh, surprising me. Maybe I'm talking too soon, boys, but it's uh it seems a little bit too easy for my liking here. Dude, it's hard. I know it's hard. Focus. You got it, buddy. You got this. Focus. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Take your time. Stay. There we go, you got this, buddy. Father, son, Kamehameha right there. Let's go, let's do this shit. You already know. Break that shit down. That was made really strong, that wall. Pretty much, uh... 
Like the army could, they probably need tanks for that shit, man. There it is. Good job. Good job, You're Daniel. Right, that oh, probably it's... took a lot out of his energy it's now, okay. though. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> Let's step right in. The door is opened. It. We fucked that shit up. <laughs> Yes. Well, well, well. There's nobody here. This uh, is really badly protected. Right. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh man, oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Something's gonna happen. I can feel it. That would be cool. Right? Something's gonna happen, boys. We're not gonna make it there for some reason. I can't wait to go. I jump. just know the I'm cops are gonna. To this to this is way too easy. This. Oh my, you fucking bitch! I knew it. Daniel, Daniel, talk He's to me. dead. Daniel, talk I told you. There's agents here. There's no way there's a border with a oh. big damn wall and there's no cops. There's oh. no way. No way. Not I now. knew it. The army the army's Daniel. here. Oh, there it is. There they are. Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh. Good oh. lord. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let me him. Let go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Good Come God, right man. Keep I knew it. Off. I knew this He's was going to happen, boys. So their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans. Who are you? Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. We serve our country. Sure. Going to Mexico by shooting people? By shooting people. Better them than us. Yeah. Look, you just blew up that wall, so don't start acting all friendly. So tell me the plan. That wasn't not that was not us. You're not cops. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. <sighs> Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Oh, there they are. Border control. Don't move. We are uh, fucked. What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Shut the fuck up, Sean. If anything, they're saving our lives right now. What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, man. Do what the officer says. Uh, fuck. How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? Yeah, you what shot a kid, man. Uh, fuck's sake. What I say? You shot a kid. Uh -oh. You can't do that. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Fucking Americans, boys, I swear. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I, I'm 
sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. I, I sure I am. This guy is like... This guy is searched by the entire country and he's like, Daniel, what, what is wrong with you? The FBI is on your ass, my guy. Why don't you just tell, say any other name than Daniel? For Christ's sake, you've got a cop right in front of you. Wasn't that too hard? Now you're in jail, you stupid. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to swear, boys. This idiot. Fucking A, man. Unbelievable, this shit. Now, Daniel, we don't know where he is. He got shot last time. He's probably don't. dead. No lesbian. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi, mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es, um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Um, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave... Una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaban you won't ever see uh, that kid again. Amigo. Don't worry about him, Sean. It's niños. over. We're alone now. Just the you and, and the narrator, which is me. We're all alone. Look at these fucking vigilantes in there. You stupid fucks. Oh my god. Now I'm alone, boys. What am I gonna do? Let's find out in the next episode. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy this one. Keep it easy.